We offer you deep historical information from history on YouTube channel. Subscribe. Now don't forget to turn on notifications. The Thirty Years' War, 1618-1648, marks an important period in European history. It was fought between various European states over political, religious, and territorial claims and was largely fought on the territory of the Holy Roman Germanic Empire. The main causes of the war included conflicts between Catholics and Protestants, political power struggles and territorial claims. The origins of the war lay in the early 16th century with the start of Martin Luther's Protestant Reformation. This reform divided the Christian world and challenged the authority of the Catholic Church. Protestantism spread rapidly across different parts of the Holy Roman Germanic Empire and tensions between Catholics and Protestants grew. War began in Bohemia, now the Czech Republic, in 1618. During this time, there was a struggle for the throne between Protestants and Catholics in Bohemia, which led to the outbreak of the war. The first phase of the war was a struggle between Protestant and Catholic forces. The second phase of the war spread across the whole of Germany and became a major European war rather than a regional conflict. The war became increasingly complex with the involvement of various European states. These included major powers such as Spain, France, Sweden, Denmark, Poland, the Netherlands and Austria. One of the war's most distinctive features was its destructive and protracted nature. At various stages of the war, treaties were signed between states and the battlefields changed. During the war, many parts of Europe were largely devastated. Human casualties increased and economic losses were incurred. One of the outcomes of the war was the signing of two separate treaties known as the Peace of Westphalia. These treaties were signed in 1648 and officially ended the war. The Peace of Westphalia redrew the political map of Europe and led to significant changes in international relations. They were also one of the first major treaties to recognize religious freedom between Catholics and Protestants. In conclusion, the Thirty Years' War is an important turning point in European history. It is an example of the complexity of religious conflict and international relations and had a formative influence on the future political and religious structure of Europe. One of the consequences of the Thirty Years' War was a rebalancing of international relations. In particular, the authority of the Holy Roman Germanic Empire was weakened and the rise of increasingly sovereign nation-states in Europe was accelerated. In addition, as a result of the treaties, religious diversity in Europe was recognized and each state gained religious independence in its internal affairs. The economic impact of the war was also profound. Many regions suffered severe agricultural and industrial losses during and after the war. In addition, states had to borrow to finance the war and many economies suffered. With the end of the war, however, there was a revival of trade and economic activity which helped to rebuild Europe. The cultural impact of the Thirty Years' War is also remarkable. Many works of art and cultural heritage were damaged or lost during and after the war. However, this period also saw the emergence of new artistic movements, such as the Baroque. The end of the war also ushered in a period of peace and stability in Europe and is known as an era of innovation and progress in literature, philosophy, science and the arts. In conclusion, the Thirty Years' War marks an important period in European history. At the end of the war, Europe's political, religious, economic and cultural structures changed significantly. And these changes laid the foundations of modern Europe. In addition, the consequences of the war had a profound impact on international relations and Europe's international position, which is still felt today. Among the lasting effects of the Thirty Years' War is the development of religious tolerance and pluralism in Europe.
The bitter experiences of the war emphasized the importance of inter-religious understanding and tolerance, which contributed to a wider acceptance of religious freedom in Europe in the years to come. The Thirty Years' War also had a major impact on diplomacy and peace negotiations between European states. The Peace of Westphalia established a number of principles that form the basis of modern international relations. These principles include sovereignty, inviolability, tolerance, and peaceful resolution of international disputes. The formation of the modern state system and international law based on these principles is one of the legacies of the Thirty Years' War. The war also contributed to the development of military technology and tactics. The experience of the war changed the organization, weapons and battle tactics of European armies and led to the development of modern war strategies. As a result, the Thirty Years' War is an important turning point in European history. At the end of the war, Europe experienced significant political, religious, economic and cultural changes and the foundations of modern Europe were laid. In addition, the consequences of the war had a major impact on the development of international relations and international law, which are still felt today. A closer look at the causes and course of the Thirty Years' War reveals that it began with events in Bohemia in 1618. The Bohemian resistance, known as the Protestant Bill of Rights, erupted as a Protestant revolt against Catholic Habsburg rule. Protestants defended their religious freedom and political rights in Bohemia and resisted the oppression of the Catholic House of Habsburg. However, this resistance soon grew from a regional conflict into a full-scale war involving major powers from across Europe. The first phase of the war, the Bohemian phase, began with resistance in defense of Bohemian independence and Protestant rights. However, the Protestant army led by King Frederick Fiftov of Bohemia was defeated by Catholic forces in 1620 and the resistance was crushed. This victory strengthened the hand of the Catholic forces and hastened the transition to the next phase of the war. The second phase of the war the Palatinate phase began after the defeat of Bohemia. In this phase, Protestant states such as Sweden and Denmark, led by the Protestant Duke Frederick William of Prussia, fought against the Holy Roman Germanic Empire. However, the balance changed when the Swedish army, led by King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden, joined the war in 1630. Using modern warfare tactics, the Swedish army achieved great success and changed the course of the war. The third phase of the war, the French phase, began with France's active participation in the war. France supported the Protestant forces against the Catholic House of Habsburg, further complicating the dynamics of the war. By this time, the war was no longer just a religious conflict, but a struggle over political and territorial claims. The Treaty of Westphalia, signed at the end of the war, was a comprehensive peace treaty involving all the warring parties. They redrew the political map of Europe and laid the foundations of the modern state system. The treaties also recognized religious diversity and strengthened the principle of sovereignty in interstate relations. As a result, the Thirty Years' War is one of the longest and most destructive conflicts in European history. The complex dynamics of the war, combined with religious, political and territorial claims, profoundly affected Europe and laid the foundations of modern Europe. Let us take a broader view of the Thirty Years' War, religious conflict and the impact of the Reformation. When looking at the origins of the Thirty Years' War, the impact of the Reformation is important. Initiated by Martin Luther in 1517, the Reformation was a serious challenge to the Catholic Church. The Reformation challenged the dogmas and practices of the Catholic Church, causing a split in the Christian world. Protestantism spread widely across Europe, undermining the authority of the Catholic Church and becoming one of the main causes of the war. Geopolitical and political tensions. 
the internal political and religious organization of the Holy Roman Germanic Empire played an important role in the outbreak of the war. Tensions between Catholic and Protestant principalities within the empire increased, which contributed to the outbreak of war. In addition, political rivalries and territorial claims between the other great powers of Europe, such as Spain, France, Sweden and the Netherlands, also played a role in the spread of the war. Economic and Land Claims one of the main causes of the war was economic and territorial claims. In the German principalities in particular, there were various disputes over land ownership and the collection of taxes. In addition, at different stages of the war, different states had objectives to gain or lose territory, which made the war protracted and complicated. The devastating effects of the war the devastating effects of the Thirty Years' War were not only military but also economic, social and cultural. During the war, many parts of Europe were devastated. Agricultural and industrial production came to a standstill and the population was greatly reduced. In addition, many people were made homeless and poverty increased as a result of the war. Consequences of the peace treaties the consequences of the Peace of Westphalia, signed at the end of the Thirty Years' War, are also important. These treaties reshaped the political balance in Europe and strengthened the principle of sovereignty in international relations. They were also one of the first major treaties to recognize religious tolerance and diversity, which influenced the future political and social structure of Europe. The Thirty Years' War is one of the most complex and destructive conflicts in European history. The causes and consequences of this war should be studied in depth, not only in terms of its military and political dimensions, but also in terms of its economic, social and cultural impact. Military strategies and technological developments of the war. The Thirty Years' War was also an important turning point in terms of military strategies and technological developments. The tactics and weapons used at different stages of the war were constantly evolving. In particular, the innovative war tactics and disciplined infantry units used by the Swedish army under King Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden in the later stages of the war changed the course of the war. Artillery and firearms were also developed during this period, making the war more deadly. The social and cultural impact of the war, the Thirty Years' War, had a profound effect on the social and cultural fabric of Europe. During and after the war, many people lost their lives and many families were broken up. This changed the demographic structure of Europe and had long-lasting effects on many regions. In addition, Many works of art and cultural heritage were damaged or destroyed during and after the war. However, the end of the war saw the emergence of new artistic and cultural movements. International relations and the reshaping of Europe. The Thirty Years' War also had a profound effect on international relations and the balance of power in Europe. With the end of the war, the balance of sovereign power in Europe shifted and the modern system of states began to emerge. The end of the war also ushered in a period of peace and stability in Europe, known as an era of innovation in science, art, literature and philosophy. Studying the Thirty Years' War from a broad perspective provides an in-depth understanding not only of its military and political dimensions, but also of its social, cultural, economic and international relations. This war is one of the most important periods in European history and is important for understanding not only that period, but also the foundations of modern Europe. We offer you deep historical information from history on YouTube channel. Subscribe. Now don't forget to turn on notifications.